like a year plus guys <laughs> dilute everything by myself and you have to make this work and like i actually just did it and the good to enroll for your cheese youtube class go into the video <laughs> hi guys hello hi my loves welcome to a brand new video it's your favorite girl debbie welcome to my youtube channel i'm a lifestyle vlogger for now <laughs> welcome welcome if this is your first time thank you so much for stopping but i really really appreciate it. and please don't make it your last and if you're a returning subscriber i love you guys so much thank you for always stopping by i appreciate you guys so so much i love you guys thank you thank you thank you so today's video is a sit down video and is a life update because it's a q1 of 2024 and i'm like you know what i think i should actually update you guys on what has been happening with me so without further ado let's go into the video um it's been it's been a year and some months been in the uk oh more that is <laughs> that's real it's been like a year plus guys <laughs> So it's been a year and some months since i moved to the uk and in this one year and some months a lot has happened so this video is basically just to tell you guys what has happened it's going to cover education it's going to cover community it might cover my my faith journey and i don't know any other thing that i remember so um i moved into i moved to the uk january 16th sorry january 13th 2023 i packed my bags and I took a flight to the UK. And looking back, I would say I'm very happy I made that decision. And I'm also very happy that my parents were able to support me because I did not fund myself. My parents supported me all the way and they still support me. Like, I'm so grateful to God for them. So I made that decision to come do my master's in the UK and I picked supply chain management because I, I did my research and I was already working in the procurement field. So I wanted to just advance like my knowledge and then just challenge myself basically because this master's for me, it was a way of challenging myself and telling myself that, oh, whatever you set your mind to do, you can actually do it. So I came here and um, started classes. Um, I had like some Nigerians as classmates and they were all like more advanced than me in terms of age. So I, I think I was the youngest in my course among the Nigerians. So assessment started coming true. <laughs> Backstory guys, um, in my BSc year, I usually do my assignment with a friend or like, rather i really read with a friend so we'd always like read together if i don't understand something with the way she explains it i'm able to understand it so it wasn't really an issue for me so in my mind i felt like okay when i come to the uk i'll also find a partner that will be reading together or doing assessment together but you guys hmm, i did not get that when i came here like i usually had to read understand like dilute everything by myself and it was a struggle because that's not what i'm used to but i told myself that debbie you have to make this work and i was able to make it work there were days where i cried there were days where i was very sad and there were days where i was happy there were days where i was really really happy there were days where oh my I just felt like was this the right decision to make at some point i think i don't know i was looking at the video yesterday or there but where i submitted my first assessment and i was telling myself that oh my, why are you shaking like i was actually like shaking i was very like hey girl, i don't know what i submitted do but looking back now i'm just like my result came out and i did well like i actually did very well in that course which boosted like my morale to like do well in other courses and to the grace of god i actually did well in all my courses yes <laughs> i did join all my classes so i'm just so grateful to god for that so i was able to learn to everything by myself did i make friends in school not really but i talked to people in school and at first when i went to school there were people actually there to help me like i didn't know them before coming to the uk but for some reason god just placed them in my part so they were able to guide me direct me like it was actually very it was easy i would say coming to the uk 
in terms of getting settled i didn't find it hard because there were people that were just there to guide me so I, I, that one i'm not going to complain i did find it easy settling down although there were times where i felt lonely sometimes because <laughs> i had friends in nigeria and it was just me here then i didn't have a community so i would just like you know when you call your friends in nigeria they're busy like you don't pick your call so i think what made me feel relaxed that's why i like youtube so much i was always watching youtube like youtube is like my happy space youtube is like youtube is my comfort like i don't know how to explain it but YouTube is just everything to me, basically, because it's a way of relaxing, like, it's just a way of relaxing, not being stressed. I don't know, I just love YouTube so much, so I think YouTube really helped me when I was feeling lonely and all of that stuff. So, and now, let's jump into the community expert. So, I started attending CCI. I did not want to attend CCI for personal reasons. I didn't want to attend CCI, but then I went to one church, and it just felt like my like it wasn't doing it for me basically so i was like you know let me even try cci and i went there and the word I, I remember going there my first sunday was in february talking about love so it was the month of love and of course i love love so i'm like hmm this topic is interesting so i went there and i was like okay you know what i'm going to come back and then i started going back i started going back i started going back and i'm like oh i think i found my church and because aside like every other thing in the world you no know, we, we eat good in cci that one we actually eat very good like the word mm-hmm. i saw a post j on air posted it like when you go to a church because you see how they dress you think that oh it's only a fizzy but then when you enter the church, you realize that they pray a lot. And I went to read the comment section and everybody was like, this is CCI. Guys, we they pray. Like, we they pray. Like, no, we actually, like, eat very good in CCI. So, I started against CCI and as God to have it, I have my own community. I don't know how the community started, but I used to know, or rather, I know one babe. And then from there, I became friends with her friends. Sha, 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 long story, because sure. They are not like my people. I'm sure you guys have seen them in some vlogs. Or I don't know. I think you guys have actually seen them like Taiwo, Sheyi, Peter, Banke, Blessing, Omodola. And I have like my friends like Busola, Dobra. That's how plenty basically. So I just that I have people that I would say, okay, I can talk to them. I'll feel comfortable around them. No issue, no problem. So in terms of community i would say i'm okay like i'm actually very good like i'm not lonely i'm surrounded with people and all of that stuff and then yeah i think basically that's everything that happened in one year i relaxed my hair <laughs> in one year i started my youtube channel like this is one thing i would say i'm so proud of myself because i've been saying i want to start a youtube channel for like five years and then one day i just did it like i actually just did it and the good thing is that like we are at a hundred subscribers and i'm just like wow like really like wow hundred subscribers like debbie you have hundred people subscribed to your youtube channel We're like it's a big deal to me oh. it's a big deal because if you know how scared i was starting this channel because i'm just like oh what would people say oh that, this one has traveled now next thing is gonna open youtube and that was like my major fear i'm not even going to say like the fact that oh people would say oh she has joined them youtube people but i genuinely wanted to do this and i'm actually happy that my friends pushed me like i have friends in the background that every day are telling me debbie oh yeah um when are you posting you must post every week like you know there's one friend no i give it to her like she's always there to give me like new trend what to do what to say how to do this how to do that like no no, no i really like give it to her which now motivated me to enroll for yechi's youtube class you guys that class <laughs> if you do not enroll i don't know i'm sorry you missed but the good thing is that she might be having another one around july i'm i don't know i'm not very sure but that class was really good like yechi knows her onions like she taught us very well like how to edit our thumbnail content how to make money how to um title your videos like she was like and the things that she was saying it was so relatable like it was really really relatable and 
I know that I have gained so much knowledge and I actually cannot wait to put it into practice because of course like you can only gain the knowledge but you need to put in the work so I'm actually willing to put in the work and all of that like you know, that class was really really good like we actually learned a lot like if there's one thing that sticks to me you she would say you are a producer because look at me now i'm setting like a tripod i did my hair i have to look good like you are the producer like you have to make sure that everything is on point so that class was really really good like it was really amazing like and then i enrolled also for like the um what's it called something group something share so three weeks community so I'm, i'm i'm really really glad i'm really glad it was a very good investment for me and yeah i'm very very happy um in one year i have lived in four places <laughs> i can explain the first was the student accommodation which, which was for six months the second one because i could not find where to stay i stayed there for just one month it was a temporary accommodation and the third one was like my students my studio apartment i just moved from and then this is the fourth one which is a two bed which is way bigger and then spacious basically so this one i don't think i want to move in a very long time contract is for like a year so best believe i'll be here for like a year because that moving stuff can be so stressful like it drains me out so i'm happy that at least for one year i don't have to worry about all of that so i'm done talking about my one year in a nutshell so now what's next um for now yeah i think my major focus is getting a full-time job you guys I tell you that looking for a job applying for a job in this country it's like a full-time job on its own the difference is you're not getting paid it's actually a full-time job because guys I have applied I've tweaked my CV you know when someone comes and they say oh I think oh your CV should be a certain way I've done it like I have applied you guys like but there are days where I like i genuinely do not feel like like i'm just too tired and i'm just like oh my god is this actually what i signed up for but i'm like you know what Deb, you keep going like you need to keep pushing because if you don't apply these guys they would not see your cv and then my manager would always say that you need to keep on trying because it just takes one person to give it a chance and then so i'm just like you know what i'll keep on trying i won't give up so that's how i've been applying so i think that's like like that's even what is next getting a full-time job so i've pumped in applications so i've gotten interviews so i've gotten not some a lot i've gotten rejections unfortunately like if i type unfortunately on my mail you guys i bet you like what will come out <laughs> so i think what's next is just getting a full-time job that's like my major focus and then since my student visa is about to expire i'll be applying for my postgraduate visa so i'm yet to apply or oh, i've started applying but i'm not yet done so i'll get that like two years extension to stay in the uk basically so see you guys your girl is tired she needs a break she needs a trip and i'm really praying towards it because i actually need to travel like people will always say oh the best time to travel is when you're a student because it gives like it's very easy to get like visas and all of that but you guys in my one year i did not travel i did not even like it wasn't even in the budget because of course like you need money to travel so i'm really hoping like i'm hoping you guys let me type amen that must travel this year like we must go for a trip this year say amen so that's pretty much it staying back in the uk looking for a job looking for a full-time job traveling and of course investing in youtube um before we wrap this video i just want to say something so looking back at my whole relocation process relocation journey and all of that there's one thing i would tell my younger self which is the debbie that came into the uk on january 13th 2023 i'll tell her that it only gets better like it can actually only get better because i can tell you guys for a fact that that debbie that came and the debbie that is sitting down right here debbie has changed debbie has evolved like debbie has grown that's the word debbie has grown like it might not be very very glaring it might not be very very obvious but i know that i have grown so i just want to tell you guys i mean i'm not a counselor i'm not an advisor or anything but i just want to say that 
it can only get better that's the honest truth like it can actually only get better like if we're going to be honest with ourselves if we look back on our journey and look at ourselves now we can see that omo it has actually only gotten better like i don't believe in oh you went two steps backwards or it got worse i don't believe in that i just think that oh no i think i know that it can only get better fine i'm looking for a full-time job i've never gotten that full-time job but i'm just saying that it's only get better i have like uh it's only get better so just even if that's the only thing you take from this video just know that it can only get better so that's pretty much it so your girl is actually a graduate my graduation is in july so get I mean, anticipate my graduation basically thank you guys for sticking with me thank you guys for subscribing to my youtube channel thank you guys for just i don't know thank you guys for clicking to watch my video i'm really really grateful i appreciate you guys so much and yeah i love you guys please don't forget to subscribe please give this video a thumbs up if you actually enjoyed it and please share to your friends to your friends to your friends to their friends 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 <laughs> i love you guys so much see you guys in my next video bye